So you wanna change the hard drive of your PS4. Understandable, 500 gigabytes can go a lot when you're installing a crap load of games, which is probably what you'll end up doing. So uh, here's how to change the hard drive on the slim PlayStation 4. Pretty straightforward, still need the typical stuff, screwdriver, replacement hard drive, or in my case, um, a 500 gigabyte hard drive that is all I had. That's all literally the only hard drive I had. So I'm replacing a 500 gig PS4 slim hard drive with a 500 gig hard drive just for the sake of learning. Okay, so PS4 Slim, let's figure out what we're doing here. Pretty, again, pretty simple. So the, the little, like the HDD is actually right here. It's this like uh, corner slot right here. It's very simple to open, like much easier than like the Super Slim PS3. Apply a little bit of pressure and just push it outwards. It's gonna pop right off just like that. Really, really easy. It's just like a little flimsy piece of plastic. The clips aren't that strong at all. Um, I'll even clip it back in for you and, and just pop it right back out. Boom, really simple. Be sure to do it this way. Don't do it from the um, from the other portion and it will just come off uh, very easily. Again, it's like it's meant to be sl uh, like a sliding mechanism. Now, don't worry about this little ribbon right here. That's not like part of the system or anything. It's just actually a little handle to pull it out. Now, what you're gonna wanna worry about right here is this little screw <clears throat> with the uh, four PlayStation buttons on it. You're gonna take that off before you actually pull on the ribbon to get the hard drive out. So just unscrew that really quick. Very simple. Be sure to not lose that or anything. You're gonna need that. And then this is where you can tug right on the little ribbon that you thought was like a piece of electronics. No, it's just actually just a straight up ribbon attached to the uh, HDD bay. And there's your hard drive. Uh, once again, we only have to worry about four screws all the way around. Just uh, one by one, take them off. Be sure to not lose them or anything. Uh, as usual with uh, PlayStations, this is a 2.5 inch laptop hard drive. So pretty much anything two point, you know, two and a half inches is going to work here, whether that's uh, HDD, SSHD, or SSD. These will all work on uh, a PlayStation 4, a slim PlayStation 4, and previously PlayStation 3 models as well. So you're good to go there. Uh, don't need to worry about anything like that. And of course, if you do go, say, the SS, you know, HD route or SSD, there actually is speed improvements. Granted, they're extremely, extremely minimal, um, but there are speed tests out there that prove that you can shave a few seconds off of load times and stuff. Um, so there you go. Just take it right on out. It's like a nice little, like it's completely covered all around, unlike other bays where like the hard drive can slide in and out. So now here's a little caveat. If you're going, you, you might have a situation where the hard drive you're bringing in is going to be a little bit thinner. So if you see right here, the hard drive that I'm going to be using doesn't line up with the screws. It's no big deal. Don't worry about it. If Again, if it's a two and a half inch laptop hard drive, it is going to work. You're just going to have to hold it in place and finagle the screws in there and then, you know, screw all four of them in and make sure it just kind of is in place and, and levitated a little bit off of the bay. So, because uh, the because the hard drive that Sony ships with this thing fits completely flush, but if you if, if the one you're bringing in is doesn't fit, don't worry about it. It's it's completely fine. Um, now we're going to slide it back in. Very simple. Make sure it's facing the right direction for the um, for the PlayStation button screw to go back in, nice and well. Just keep that in mind because otherwise you're going to jam it in and it's not going to fit if you try to do it the other way. Uh, and so that's pretty much it. And that's like actually always the easiest part. The hard part is making sure you do this correctly in terms of software and your saves. So of course, I think it goes without saying, before you do this, make sure you back up your hard drive if you actually already have game saves or something like that. If you have game data or something that you want to protect, either put it in the cloud or back it up to a hard disk drive. Now we're going to get into the portion of the video where you're going to want to um, actually install and partition the software correctly. So the proper way to do this is to hold down the power button for roughly seven seconds. This is going to put the PlayStation 4 into a safe mode. Um, hold it seven seconds. It's going to beep once more. It's almost immediately going to go into the safe mode. It's going to say connect DualShock 4 uh, with a cable. You know, go ahead and do that. And you're going to want to choose to initialize PS4. And, but before you do this, obviously, you're going to want to connect uh, an external hard drive or a USB drive or something that actually has the latest firmware. So you're going to have to go to Sony's website. Um, you know, just a simple Google search will do it for you. Go, and right now, the current software is 4.0. So Google, you know, PS4 firmware 4.0 or whatever, whatever the current one is and download it. The big caveat here is that you need to download the firmware that 
has the full partition, basically. Because if you download the firmware on Sony's website, most people end up downloading the small, like a smaller file that's around 300 MB typically, um, and that only has the firmware. You're gonna have to scroll a little bit further down the page and download. It's like a smaller link too, so it's hard to miss for a lot of people. But you're gonna want to download the firmware that is around usually 800 or 800 MB, and that's gonna have the full system software on it, including 4.0. And this is what you need to actually boot your PS4 properly and make sure it accepts the um, the new hard drive. So once you actually do that, as I'm showing you right now, this is the process. It accepts it. Everything's fine. Just make sure you have the right um, the right actual file going into this. And of course, you want to label it. And it's all on Sony's website. It's very, very easy to understand. You have a file that says PS4 in capital letters. And then inside that file is a file that says update in capital letters. And that's where you're going to be saving the 800 MB file that includes literally everything you need to get going. And... Uh, once you've done that, you're you're pretty much golden. It's just going to boot up to system software update. It's going to update. This is going to be a screen that everybody sees whenever they do a regular firmware update. So just you know, download it as need be, and then sure enough, you're going to be um, you're going to be off to the races. So that's pretty much it. That is the proper way to completely uh, change the hard drive and make sure your firmware is up and running. Thank you all for watching. I hope this helped you all. And subscribe for more PlayStation videos, news, reviews, Let's Plays, uh, just uh, gaming as a whole, and PS4 Slim videos too, doing a bunch of those. Anyway, thank, thank you very much, guys. Take it easy. Uh, have a good day.